what is up everybody on YouTube Max Rock here with a quick video and um, I just want to give my opinion on something um, it's about Metro PCS and their rebrand um, T-Mobile I guess T-Mobile Metro decided to do a rebrand because as we all know Metro PCS does use the um, networks from T-Mobile and um, yeah I guess it was time for an over. Oh, I said overdue. It was time for a rebrand. Can't really get mad at them about it. And along with this rebrand, they also offered uh, um, some new plans that are going to be coming to the uh, the carrier, and it's going to have some incentives. Of uh, you know, certain plans will give you Google One storage, and other plans will give you, I think, Google One storage and Amazon Prime. So they're going to have some incentives in the plan. And I guess that's a good thing, but you know, my major gripe for Metro PCS hasn't ever been about the um you know the perks that you got with your plan because I think a lot of carriers actually give you perks now. I know Sprint gives you perks with the streaming service. Um you know, they got a new eighty dollar plan now where you get uh you get forty gigs of hotspot, which is crazy. Um, you get priority customer care. It's the weirdest, that, that was one of the weirdest perks I've ever seen on Boost Mobile, but whatever. Everybody gets perks now. As far as Verizon and AT&T, don't know. They don't really need perks because people are going to get their stuff or get their service, regardless of the fact they're so dominant. But my major gripe with Metro PCS, or excuse me, Metro by T-Mobile, is not those plans or anything like that. I think all that is all fine and dandy, but... One of my major problems that I had with them in the past is that when I have multiple devices that is unlocked, um, I always have to call in to give them the ICD or the ICC ID number or the, basically the SIM card number to get that SIM card to work in another phone. And I always thought that was annoying. So unless Metro PCS changed that, you know, Metro by T-Mobile changed that, I'm not really interested in it because little things like that can deter me from actually going to a carrier or going back to a carrier because that really does matter to me. I have multiple devices and the fact that I have to give a phone call to the carrier that I'm under to actually, you know, switch the device or swap the device over to another one, that really annoys me. Even Boost Mobile, you're allowed to uh, swap your devices online. You don't have to call anyone and that's a uh, CDMA network so, you know, you can't just bounce from SIM to SIM. And you have to actually give them the um, the IBI number or the ICC ID number. So if let's the Metro by T-Mobile, unless they change that, I'm not really interested in it. That's my opinion. What do you guys think of this actual rebrand uh, by Metro? Um, do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Or do you just not even care about it because you don't use Metro PCS anyway? But uh, be sure to like the video if you haven't liked it already. Subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments how do you feel about this merger. I'm cool with it, but as long, but if I can't do that one little thing, that's like, uh, I won't be going, sorry, I won't be going back to you guys. So, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, be sure to like the video, like I said, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.